Hello, my name is Helen Campbell, and I'm going to talk to you now about diaries. I'm going to mention Samuel Pepys, and I will mention a former British Prime Minister, Harold Wilson. And I'm going to start now. I wonder, do you keep a diary? I do in a way, a rather sporadic way, actually. I might write quite a lot for a few weeks, and then for a few months, nothing at all. But I love reading other people's diaries. And of course, for a biographer, diaries are extremely important, very useful because they are ways of remembering and noting essential facts, dates, names, events and the like. Recently, I read a volume of published diaries, rather interesting, but written by a very ordinary Englishwoman. No one of any fame or repute. By chance, she happened to live nearby to where I was brought up as a child. So the diary was just what she did every day, what she cooked for dinner, um, when she was house hunting, what kind of cottages she was looking at. She talked about getting a job and what the job was like and the colleagues, tending her garden as well. And then, as the time of this diary coincided also with the Second World War, we had in the background the events of the war. She joined the services and she recounts what happened there too. As I said, no one of fame, but someone who was fascinating for me to read about. Why are diaries interesting? Well, they give you all sorts of details. They take you into another world, somebody else's world. You feel what the diarist feels, and you think like them, and you begin to see how they respond to events and friendships and ups and downs of life, separations, losses, happiness and sadness. It's actually a sort of conjunction of small day-to-day -day events and big events, like, as I mentioned, the Second World War. Now, I was interested to read that there's an exhibition in London at the moment celebrating the art of writing daily journals. And it shows that a combination of the personal detail and world events is particularly striking and interesting. Um, at this exhibition, I read, there is a journal, for example, of a young girl. She was writing in the 1960s, 1968 to be exact. And she's listening to the radio, which is what we used to do. And she hears about the student riots in Paris and the government of Mr. Harold Wilson in the UK at the time. And she writes it all down, the details of what she hears, and mixed in with those events, what she herself is doing, her exams, her ups and downs, her parties, her family, her siblings, and so on. What does it all amount to? Well, it's a mix of the global and the local. And that is what one appreciates so much in a diary. Now, some great diarists, like Samuel Pepys, of course, are classical reading, as we all know. But even those mundane ones, such as the one I've just described, can be really absorbing which makes me think that maybe I will now start writing my diary again. Thank you.